Do I need an air blower on my hot tub or can I use Venturi? Well, in this video, we're gonna have a look. Hey, I'm Andy from buildahottub.com. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're gonna look at whether you need an air blower in your hot tub or whether you can use Venturi. Now, firstly, we need to define what both of these are. But before we do so, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week and a whole bunch of shorts. Everything is centered around building, repairing, hot tubs, plunge pools, air source heat pumps, and, and pretty much everything in between. So please do give me a like if you're liking the content, and of course, hit that notification icon so you don't miss any of my videos. So, do I need a blower or should I rely on Venturi? So, what's the difference? Well, the difference really is, is how it works. So a air blower, as the name suggests, and this is a typical air blower here behind me, this will actually blow air into separate airlines in your hot tub. Now, if you're on a plastic shell tub that you've purchased, you will have uh, potentially what we call pepper pots. And these pepper pots, uh, they are in your plastic tub and they just allow air and bubbles to come out. So they're dedicated for the, the bubbles. And these are really only for use with an air blower. Now, if you have a concrete or a block built tub, then again, you will use a blower, you will have separate airlines, but this time the air and the water actually mixes inside of the jets. And this is the portion where it kind of gets a little bit complicated, but you know, we are here to analyze and break these things down. So with those separate air and those water lines, they will combine in something like this. So this is one of my favorite Gunite bodies. I talk about these lots and lots and lots on this channel and on my blog. Just a quick recap. This is a two inch water line. This is a one and a half inch airline. Now the blower will actually blow air into these lines. And what happens is that the water and the air mix inside of the, the Gunite body. And if you can just about see on the camera, there's actually a hole in the airline. So when the water passes over that hole, it then draws the air in. And the process of drawing the air in is called Venturi. So even with an air blower on your system, you're still utilizing the principle of Venturi to get a stronger, more bubbly jet. So then, what is Venturi on its own? Well, this is quite popular on plastic shell tubs and on the top of your tubs, you quite often have a valve which you can twist to open and your jets will then become more powerful. It's exactly the same principle that I've just explained. What's happening is the water is passing over the airlines, you're opening up a valve, you're allowing more air to be drawn in, the jets get stronger, you get more bubbly, and it, again, it's using that process of Venturi. So, do you need a blower or do you rely just on Venturi? Well, if you're building your own DIY hot tub, and certainly if you're using the gunite bodies that we've just seen, which are suitable for block build, pours, ICF blocks, then you're gonna to want to use a blower. The reason being is that those one and a half inch airlines are, they're a bit big to, to actually rely purely on Venturi. And also you don't want the water to be coming back down those airlines, which they will do because as you've seen earlier in this video, they do actually mix. Now, if you are doing a stock tank or you're doing a wooden built or IBTL water tank, then you really do have the option because the, the jets and the fixtures that you're gonna be using are smaller. They're much more like the ones that you will find on the plastic shell tubs. So you can use the process of Venturi to actually increase the power of those jets. So my take on this is yes, you do need an air blower if you are building out of block, concrete pour, ICF block, anything that uses the large gunite bodies with 
two inch water and one and a half inch air, you want to have a blower connected to those air lines. Now, if you're creating a stock tank hot tub or a IBTL water tank, anything that uses the smaller fittings, so one inch pipework or less, then these are much more conducive to being compatible with a Venturi system. And you're gonna to want to have three or four valves placed around your tub that you can then open to allow air to be drawn into the system and make those jets stronger. Hopefully this video hasn't confused you anymore and you have found it useful. As always, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.